So I'm just looking at all the transfers on the One Football app, the sponsors of today's video. It's the best place to find out all the information you need to know about transfers going on in the world. Real ones, contract renewals, and of course, rumours as well. It's all there on the app. And I'm looking for information on Ben Knight because loads of clubs were interested in him last episode. But he did tell me that if you download the One Football app from the top line of the description for absolutely free, he will stay at the club. So, I mean, maybe if you do that, he might sign a contract extension with us. I guess you guys did download the app because guess who's here for another four years? That's right, Ben Knight has signed a new contract with us. You love to see it, it was bizarre. Last episode you saw that Celtic and Aston Villa were into him, Everton then got involved in the media saying they wanted him, and then he got to the transfer window, the first few days nothing happened, and I clicked on him and no one was interested in him. So I found him a contract, and it was there. I could offer him a contract, and I'll be honest with you, it's a terrible contract for us as a club, but it's a good contract for Ben Knight. Uh, I just sort of pressed accept straight away, knowing that he wanted to sign a contract. It's not the worst thing in the world, right? Um, he has doubled his wages from five to 10 grand a week, but I feel like he does deserve that given, you know, he's got seven goals, 12 assists so far this season, the best player by far in the team. So he deserves the money. It's just that we probably could have got it down a little bit because that's what he wanted outright. So we could have got that down a little bit. Um, he's also got a big appearance fee of two grand. Should have got that down as well. Unused substitute fee of 1,000, uh, no, 500 pounds, sorry. The assist bonus is 1,500. Again, I probably could have got all of these down, but I panicked a little bit and thought we needed to skip to sign a contract, give him what he wants. So it could have been cheaper for us, but at least we've got Ben Knight for a bit longer and hopefully we can sell him in a few years time for like 50 million or something. So that is the fantastic news starting off today's episode. You love to see it. Welcome back to On The Rocks. At a slightly earlier time this evening, it should be coming out at about 5 p.m. today, I think. That is because tonight is the league system of the streamer showdown, which I'm involved in. We had the draft on Wednesday. The draft pool was Brazilian, German and Dutch players. So we've got a pretty decent team. And I'm going live tonight from about 6.45 onwards uh, for the league system, taking on people like Dr. Benji and Work the Space, etc, etc. Um, so if you want to come and get involved and see what it's about, there's a link down in the description to his Twitch channel. As I say, I'm live from 6.45 tonight on till about... I don't know, 10, 10, 11 or something like that. So it's a long evening. So just come along for a little bit if you want to uh, see what it's about. Say hello in the chat to me. We'd love to hear from you and get involved. And uh, it's, it's a great evening. It's a good evening. So uh, we'd love to see you there. Get down there and uh, I'll come and say hello to you or you say hello to me and we'll have a conversation. That's what we'll do. Unless, of course, I'm losing terribly. Then that's when the guitar comes out and I start singing sad songs because... Uh, it cheers me up a little bit. Anyway, in today's episode, we are taking on Rangers and Hearts in the Scottish Premiership. Uh, a big game today because if we win today, we could be going top of the table. It's a very, very tasty looking table. And to get there, though, we've had to win a lot of games. And since you were last here for the Celtic win in the Cup Final and the 1-0 win against Riga in the Europa Conference League, we have not lost a game. We've been absolutely superb. Starting off with a 5-1 victory against Livingston. Really good result for us there. And we followed up with a 1-1 draw with Celtic, which isn't too bad. We did beat Celtic in the Cup Final, so we'll take that. A 1-1 draw with them is a positive result to an extent, but obviously it's a bit frustrating. We didn't beat them at home. That's obviously got to be our aim this season. So a little bit of a slip up there potentially, but we made up for it with two away wins in a row to St. Johnston and to Hibernian. Unfortunately, just before the winter break, we really didn't do very well against St. Mirren. A poor game there, drawing nil-nil at home, dropping some points, which was frustrating. And then we went into the winter break, obviously did very well in those two fixtures against Frankfurt and Kingcorth. And then we won the Scottish Cup fourth round 4-1 against the team I've not really heard of before, so that was a good win for us there. And then we've had two 2-0 two wins in a row to follow that up as well for the start of the new part of the season after the winter break. So, for the most part, it has been really, really solid. I'm very pleased. And if we look at the league table, we are level on point 54 apiece with Celtic and Rangers, but we have a game in hand. So winning both our games today could see us on top of the pile by three points come the end of today's episode. 
There is also a little bit of transfer news to talk about. Uh, on loan, we had Lavia, didn't we? Uh, Romeo Lavia or Romeo Lavia, if we can find. There he is. Um, he's no longer with us because he got bought by Lazio from Man City and that cancelled the loan deal for him, um, which is a little bit annoying because he was a very good backup to have around on you know, centre mid and the wing. Pretty decent to have around. So we've had to bring someone else in to replace him. And uh, it's a bit of a coup. In on loan for the rest of the season is Wonder Kid Javi Simmons, which is very bizarre to say at Aberdeen. I'm not quite sure he's a Wonder Kid anymore. I think he's sort of been nerfed a little bit in Football Manager in recent years. But at one point, he was always meant to be kind of like the next big thing in the centre of midfield. Uh, he's currently actually at Roma. He was let go by PSG on a free after being let go from Barcelona on a free. So it's a bit of a weird one. He's got Barcelona, PSG, Roma, Aberdeen, which I just love that in his career bio. Uh, but We've got Xavi Simmons for the rest of the season as a backup centre mid. I think will do very well for us. But other than that, nothing to really talk about at all. We're going to jump straight into this game against Rangers and we're going to put out the best lineup we can possible for it, in my opinion, right now. So, Bazunu starts in goal with a back line of Divine, Herrera, Suva, and Torres. Ferguson and Tam Lumper start in the middle of the park with Gordon and Knight on the wings and Nisbet and Shankland leading the line. What is beautiful to see that in all competitions, Ben Knight's got 12, Gordon's got 15, Nisbet's got 19 and Shanklin's got 11. It's great to see all of these guys in double figures at the start of February. So as kickoff is upon us today, the danger man for Rangers is Ryan Kent. We think we've got a very good deal with Ben Knight getting 12 assists in the league already. Ryan Kent for Rangers in the league has 17 assists already. So he is the danger man right now. So we need to try and nullify him and mark him out the game to make sure he can't get any assists today. The early highlight though, uh, 90 seconds into the game is going towards Rangers unfortunately as their new 13 million no, was it 13 no I think it was only three million pounds 13 three million it's the same sort of thing but they signed a very expensive striker from Mexico that Vega guy who nearly scored a goal at Fort Rangers right there he's their big signing of January I don't think Celtic signed anyone as far as I can recall from the transfer window but they're thrilled up against Morton right now so I don't think they needed to sign anyone in particular 4-0 now as you can see but they have got Batshuayi and Carlos Benicius up front so I feel like we don't need much help up front anyway. Obviously, the only sort of addition to us is Xavi Simmons. I think he's a very good addition. I think he's probably better as a centre mid than Lavia was. As, oh, we've just hit the post. Gordon on the rebound. Couldn't quite get there. Great defence from Rangers. But uh, minimal highlights so far, which I think bodes well for us. I'd rather win the game like 1-0 than it be like a high-scoring sort of game or something like that. But as the second half gets underway, hopefully we're going to score a nice early goal here as... Celtic now look to come forward. Celtic Rangers, sorry. Oh, Rangers fans won't be happy with that one. But uh, as Rangers look to come forward, hopefully we can get a nice challenge in there. Stop them. There we go. Good challenge from Ben Knight as he looks to come forward on a bit of a counter attack. Come on, Ben Knight. Get this one into the area. That's not quite into the area there, but the ball cleared is not won by, is won by us. Ben Knight tracking back, win the ball back. Gordon this time comes forward. Gordon shoots. Unfortunately, it was a terrible shot. Okay, 50 minutes on the clock. Maybe we need to start thinking about changes to an extent as uh, we win the ball back but then lose it straight away by, with the clearance. Can we win it here? Oh, it's a <sighs> Bazzuni with a good save, but I think that was definitely Herrera's issue there when he missed that header. That was not good for us at all. Come on. Tam Lumper, Gordon, Devine. Loads of highlights in this second half right now. There's got to be a goal in here somewhere as Devine gets it into Ferguson. Ferguson to Ben Knight. Ben Knight at the far post. It's not offside. He gets the opening goal of the game. And that is what we needed to break the deadlock. Ben Knight got a new contract. He's playing brilliantly. You love to see it. He is a Don. He's definitely a Don as he gets the goal there to put us in the lead of this game. We'll still be behind Celtic currently right now on goal difference, but we have our game in hand and win it. We'll go top of the table. I'm feeling so confident that Shankland has somehow shanked that wide. How would that not, it was offside anyway, but how did that not go in the back of the net? In the meantime, we are going to maybe take Shankland off actually for Thad McRae and swap him and Nisbet over so they can play in slightly preferred roles. Uh, Reese Devine, one of the best of games out there. He's not a great season, actually, considering we brought him in to be a superb player. His average ratings haven't been brilliant, so maybe Brian Portier might start a few more games in the second half of the season. And we might leave it like that for now. Confirm the changes. 
that should be all right. Rangers with a free kick though, playing it short on the edge of the area and they put their shot just wide. 20 minutes to hold on in this game. Rangers have been the slightly stronger of the two sides based on possession, based on shots, based on chances had. But we're the ones currently leading with five minutes to go, boys. Do not capitulate right now. Don't throw this away. This is going to be a famous victory for us as it's our second win over Rangers in the league this season. You love to see it. 1-0 to the Reds. Well done, lads. A great win for us there. And that is the perfect way to start off today's episode. So looking at that league table, we're now three points clear of Rangers. We were five points clear of them last episode, but when we slipped up with draws and stuff, they managed to catch us up a little bit. But there we go. We're still back into second place. And uh, when we get our game in hand, which I presume is not the next game we're having, the next game we have, everyone else is playing as well. That's a bit frustrating. When do we have our game in hand then? Our game in hand is, oh, not until like the 2nd of March. So quite a while away, actually, that game in hand. So maybe we won't finish up today's episode on top of the table. Although, you know, Celtic could lose. We play Hearts, whereas Celtic play Livingston. You know, Livingston might cause an upset there. But I think this is probably the best opportunity we've had to come in the top two so far. I know we've been, you know, missed out on just a couple of points in the past couple of seasons or so. But we've always been the one chasing. This season, we're being chased. And I think that's the biggest difference. Also, just realised, I've not even asked, uh, make sure you do drop a like on today's video for me and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. We did get to 22,000 subscribers uh, after I said yesterday, can we get there please? Uh, and we got there, which is fantastic. So on to 23,000, hopefully by the end of next month, we can be saying congrats on 23, let's get to 24. It's been fantastic recently. So thank you ever so much for all your support. Uh, massively appreciate it. Also massively appreciate how well everyone is playing out on loan as well. I mean, Cole McKinnon, Maybe not so much. And Alvaro Fernandez, maybe not so much on the 6.6 .6 ratings. But Taggart onwards on a 6.8 upwards. All playing particularly well, which is happy. Mike Taggart hopefully will be in and around the first team next season. Not a starter yet, but only 18 years old. He's going to get there at some point. So we'll have him in around the first team next season. Uh, Tyson Brown's had a great loan spell at Montrose. Uh, Tom Ritchie at St Mirren. Now, this is an interesting one, Tom Ritchie. Obviously, the keeper, he's a good enough keeper for this division because he's doing absolutely fantastic jobs at St Mirren. He's been there the past couple of seasons and has done really, really well keeping some good clean sheets, not conceding too many goals, decent average ratings, and St Mirren are consistently a top-half team now. However, if we compare him to Bazunu, you can just see that Bazunu is so much better, right? You can just see, and it's difficult because in terms of the attributes, I mean, it is all Bazunu. Oh, it's actually massively in Bazunu's favour. Okay. We obviously try and keep getting Bazunu on loan, but I do want to try and get Tom Ritchie to maybe be our first choice at some point. But he's still got to develop a lot still. We might need him on loan, like, in the championship next season. But I don't think many championship clubs are interested in getting Scottish Premier League players in on loan. But for the game against Hearts, I don't really want to change anything. I think maybe... Maybe we bring uh, Alan Campbell on for Tang McLumpen and swap him and Ferguson over just so we can get Ferguson and Campbell playing together for a game or two. And maybe Brian Portia for Reese Devine, who actually has got a 7.24 in his last five games, but just didn't play very well last game. Maybe let's just give him one more chance before we put Portia on. Portia is still learning, he's still developing. He's only 18 years old still. He's getting there. He's going to be fantastic. I'm looking forward to seeing how he just plays in the end for us. But other than that, like I say, let's just submit the team. Let's go to the game and get another three points. Now, other than Celtic, Hearts are the only team to beat us this season. In the episode that went missing, uh, they beat us 4-3 there in really frustrating circumstances. So today we need to get one over them again and give them a good old battering. But um, they've uh, they've scored. So, all right, it's not ideal. I'm going to be so frustrated if we end up beating Rangers and then losing to Hearts again, and they just become our bogey team. It'll be so frustrating. Right now, though, at least Livingston are holding Celtic to a draw, and St Mirren are holding Rangers to a draw. So I, I say that, they've just scored a goal. So things are going uh, from bad to worse right now for us, as we just can't seem to do anything in this... Why? How can we just be so... Dominant over range. I say dominant. We weren't dominant, but how can we beat Rangers and not concede a goal there, and yet do nothing against Hearts, who are rubbish? I'll, I'll say it now. They are rubbish. Um, apologies to all the Hearts fans out there, but you lads, 
You should not be beating us, especially right now as Torres comes forward, puts the ball into Shanklin, down to Ben Knight. Ben Knight, can he get it into Shanklin? Oh, it's still not put in the back of a net. Half time. Um, throw the water bottle. I'm far from pleased. We look demotivated. I don't care if you look demotivated. I'll take you off the pitch in a minute. Demand more. Go attacking. What is going on here? Thankfully, Celtic are suddenly... I mean, that happened quickly. It was nil-nil, it said, a second ago. And as I started talking, it suddenly changed to 2-1. That's not great for us. Also, what's not great for us is the fact that we are just not doing anything out there. Um, again, Nisbet's going to come off for Thad McRae. Uh, we're going to bring on Tam McLumper as the playmaker for Ferguson. And Reese Devine on a 6.2. He just hates the camera, doesn't he? Brian Portia on you come. Inverted winger on attack. Uh, we need to make you a... Wing back on attack. Portier, can you be a wing back on attack? Uh, Tam Lumper, actually, can you be an advanced playmaker on attack, please? And yeah, let's try that. Confirm changes. We've got 35 minutes to do something. Rangers 4 0 up, 5 0 up now. Celtic still 2 1 up. I, I, how can we be doing this? Oh, this is just so frustrating. Why are they not playing? Why are we not doing anything out there? Why are there no highlights? Why can we not do anything? Tam Lumper free kick into the middle. Shankland. A... Oh. Literally. Three games we've lost this season and two of them have been to hearts. It is so frustrating when that sort of thing happens. I don't... Oh, it just... It boils my blood. I can't believe it. Look at the form we've been in. We've not lost the game since September. We've been super... I mean, we're overdue a loss, maybe. Maybe we're overdue a loss. It's just frustrating, but it's hearts again. They just keep getting us. Oh, oh. Luckily, though, we still have that game in hand. We can still go level on points with Celtic, and we can still be up there in that fight. So it's fine. I'm not too upset, but I am very upset. Hopefully, we turn it all around for next episode, where we get back into European football. The Europa Conference League second knockout round. We've not been drawn in it yet because the first knockout round's not been played yet. But next episode, we'll play whoever we get in that, as well as Hamilton. So that should be an exciting episode but thank you very much for watching today hope you guys have enjoyed it and of course if you have done make sure you do drop a like on the video for me and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here until next time have a great evening see you in the live stream link down in the description to that one as well and um, so hopefully see you there until then have a good one goodbye